your former security branch policeman Nicholas Dietlifs. He's been testifying in the reopened inquest into the death of in detention of medical doctor and unionist Dr. Neil Agat. Dietlifs has denied any knowledge of any torture or assaults at the then John Foster Square police station at the time of Agat's detention, but his evidence has been refuted by lawyers for the Agat family. 28-year-old Agat was found hanging in his cell in the early hours of the morning of the 5th of February 1982. Dietlifs has told the court he had no prior knowledge of Agat before he questioned him. He claims his then senior officer, Lieutenant Stefan Whitehead, did not give him the full details of why he should take over the questioning of Agat. Dietlifs says to date he still does not know why he was called to join the interrogation that day. He says he used mainly non-violent methods of questionings, but admitted to smacking detainees in the face to compel them to talk, among them Barbara Hogan. Dietlifs denies ever laying a hand on Agat or torturing him. The inquest continues. Nozin Tombi Mia has been following that inquest. A very good afternoon to Nozin Tombi. It sounds like Dietlifs is saying that he just used to have chats with prisoners, didn't know what was happening, and he basically was being very gentle and kind uh, in terms of the interrogation. Well, I'm not well, a very good afternoon to you, Nzinga. You're certainly right. And, you know, this is really the biggest question that uh, the lawyers for the Agat family have really been relentless uh, in pursuing this morning throughout the cross-examination. Um, Dietlitz's uh, e evidence and testimony, mm -hmm. it seems so at odds um, for somebody who was a security uh, officer, security branch officer at the time, that he had not seen for himself any detainees being tortured, regardless of the fact that, or in spite of the fact that he admits that he knew that the use uh, of uh, electrocution was quite common. He was also aware that physical violence against detainees was also quite common. But he says he never saw any of his colleagues um, electrocute or beat or torture any of the detainees that had been there. And, you know, at one point, uh, Judge Makume raised some uh, concern or some incredulity that uh, Dietlitz had had no knowledge. He'd never seen nor had he heard of any of the detainees uh, being tortured or being beaten. And this is really what is the most problematic part of Dietlitz's testimony. There's so many holes in it. Uh, and it does seem quite uh, confusing that Dietlitz, who had been, uh, you know, um, an uh, experienced uh, senior officer at the time, or officer at the time, had not heard anything, had not heard anything about any of the torture or any of the interrogation. And in Zynga, this is really the point uh, that uh, the advocate uh, uh, for the Agate family is trying to raise, continuing that he puts the pressure on uh, the testimony that Dietlitz keeps uh, revealing and unveiling until he gets to the bottom of it. It. Nzinga? No, Zindombi, what else can we expect from the inquest today? So Dientlitz uh, will be uh, on the stand for the better part of uh, this day until the afternoon. Um, prosecutors for the state also need to get an opportunity to um, cross-examine Dietlitz, as well as uh, Dietlitz's own uh, lawyers who have to um, rebut with everything that has been cross-examined. And what's been quite interesting in Zynga is that Dietlitz is 69 years old. Um, and he's got a plethora of health issues. He has uh, throat cancer and he's got diabetes. And early in his testimony, he really struggled to read through some of uh, the evidence, the written evidence that was presented before him. And, you know, he's been surprisingly calm um, and, and, and given answers in a measured, calm way, regardless of the unrelenting questioning and a cross-examination. And it remains to be seen if Dietlitz will remain stoic in the face of such unrelenting question, questioning from the lawyers, or if he will eventually crumple under pressure and own up to some of the holes that have been pointed in his testimony from late afternoon when his cross-examination began. So it certainly is shaping up to be quite an interesting day uh, as the proceedings continue, Zinga, and we will be giving you uh, updates on the hour uh, as this particular inquest uh, continues. Nzinga. Nozin Tombi Mia giving us an update there.